Hey folks, thanks for watching. Kaylee here. Today I'm going to be talking about this plant here, um, commonly called purslane. Um, its scientific name is portulaca, and it's found in all parts of the world. It is a very valuable source of food. Um, it contains many vitamins and minerals crucial for human health including potassium, iron, vitamin V, vitamin C, vitamin A, magnesium, calcium, as well as age-defying bioflavonoids. It's one of the highest vegan sources of omega-3 fatty acids, which are really important for our Western diet in which we get many omega-6 and omega-9s um, due to our heavy oil intake, um, but it's very important to have omega-3s in equal ratio to uh, 6 and 9 to create optimum health in a simulation. Um, um, the omega-3 is also very good for heart health and um, the, the taste of this plant is really amazing. It's um, got a kind of lemon peppery taste to it and um, it's a succulent. Um, it, it, um, it has a kind of mucusy, uh, kind of slimy texture. I know that sounds kind of gross but it's actually really good. Um, and it's, um, it's really good for your mucous membranes and your nose and your eyes um, and those sensitive areas. Um, it is high in um, the omega-3, which makes it really good for psoriasis and eczema, different kinds of um, skin conditions. Um, it's an insulin booster, so it's really good for those uh, suffering from type 2 diabetes and um, helps to stabilize blood, blood sugar. It's been used in uh, used by the ancients to uh, cure stomach ache and intestinal worms, um, dysentery, and um, the magnesium that is in high amounts is really good f as a caffeine antidote um, and uh, helps with the jitters if you drink too much caffeine. The melatonin naturally found in it is also good for combating sleeplessness. And, um, and it's also good for headaches due to the high amounts of magnesium. Um, also, the seeds are used, I just learned, in Asian cuisine as a, um, as a very delicious health drink um, or tea. And um, you want to be aware of where you're harvesting the purslane. You want to make sure you don't harvest it in um, the city uh, if it's growing between sidewalks or in places that it could be um, exposed to heavy metals um, as it can concentrate heavy metals and the leaves. Um, so it's also really good for, <laughs> sorry about that, thanks Hubert, um, for remediating heavy metals within soil. Um, so yeah, this is a, we'll take another look at purslane here, and um, thank you for watching.